Salutations, spooks, spirits, inspectors, and welcome back to more Corpse of <laughs> Corpse of Shadows Book Party. <laughs> Corpse Party Book of Shadows. <laughs> uh, we just saved Nana here from a devious trap. And uh, yeah, we're kind of, let's go from here. Nana suddenly planted both arms firmly at her sides, shrunk into herself, and began shaking again. She was probably thinking about what had happened to her. ちょっと and how are you going to do that, Yoshiki? Oh,ね、か、い。ここで待って。て。何かあったらすぐに呼ぶから。ね。うわ、分かったよ。気をつけろよ。ね、岸沼君ってどんかんだから。いえ。あの、こちらこそすみません。うんうん、しょうがないよ。あんな怖いことされたら私だって。ここなら他に人もいないから遠慮なく洗っちゃいなよ。I wouldn't recommend using the pool water, though. I walked over to the wall where the roof's overhang offered some protection from the rain and waited for Nana to finish up. Taking this time to look around, I noted that the whole building was surrounded by dense forest. Theoretically, we could climb the fence here and leave. But we'd just be trading a creepy dark school for creepy dark woods. Could we survive out there? And would we actually be able to get home? I just wanted to find Shig. He'd be able to look at this situation coolly and rationally, without flipping out and getting all emotional like me. I just needed to find him, to see his face. Shig. I was starting to get teary-eyed again when I noticed Nana lazily running toward me. As she neared, she slowed to a walk. <laughs> we were both completely soaked from head to toe. But I was confident we'd dry off quickly enough once we got back inside to the school building. And since I happened to have some travel fragrance in my pouch, I took it out and spritzed a little on and around Nana's skirt. Uh, this 
最近お気に入りのフレグランス私も好きですお小遣い少ないから今は安いの使ってるけどじゃあここを脱出したらさ私のを分けてあげる本当ですか私演劇部の公演の時絶対つけます今度初舞台なんです演劇部奇遇だね私も高校の演劇部入ってるんだそうなんですか役者さんですよね役もやるけど本書いたり服作ったり部員が多くないのもあるんだけど演劇に関すること全部が楽しくってすごい何でもできちゃうんですねナナちゃんあナナちゃんって呼んでいいはいもちろん私のこともマユって呼んでねナナちゃんってスタイルいいからもしよかったら今度服作らせてよいいんですかあでも私なんかよりもっとスタイルいい子がいるんですナリちゃんって言って私の幼なじみなんですけど本当に宝塚みたいなそれから千早ち,ちゃんっていう子はお姫様みたいに可愛くてじゃあそのお友達も探して一緒に帰ろう私と岸沼君も協力するから奈々ちゃんも私の友達探すの手伝ってくれるはいまゆさん<笑>風邪ひいちゃうからそろそろ中に戻ろっかそういえばナナちゃんその太もものとこのあざってどうしたのえあれ気がつきませんでしたひょっとしたら捕まった時についたのかも怖くてあんまり覚えてないんですけどそうごめん変なこと聞いちゃったねお待たせーああ遅かったから心配したぜ女の子の身だしなみは時間がかかるのねえ岸沼君茂兄たちを探しながら奈々ちゃんのお友達も探してあげてもいい当たり前だろうさっさとみんなを探して帰ろうぜそんじゃ行くかはいエクセレンスバックトモーゲームプレイ So, what do we have here? It's the pile of twisted mangled gauze bandages that resulted from Nana's rescue. And the bucket is mysteriously gone. Or maybe it's just because she was over there somewhere. So, I guess we're just going to、uh, explore everywhere else now. I mean, we, we came to the locker room because this is the last place to look. Right? Because we're going to come out to the pool area and be like, hey, let's check out the water pump building, right?
Is the way up unblocked now? Let's check here first, because it's a dead end. Anyway, so... My, 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 what do we have here? There's a crumpled up scrap of paper inside one of the shoe cubbies. It's a bit heavy, suggesting it serves as a packing for some object wadded up within. Unraveling it reveals a small pile of long, whitish, stubby objects that, at first, seem like they may be candles or something. But in actuality... <laughs> Ten in total. Every finger from both of some unfortunate victim's hands. The blood was still very much wet, too, indicating that not much time had passed since these digits were severed. Wet soil was lodged under each fingernail, and faint remnants of color here and there further indicated that the owner of these fingers had painted nails. <gasps> Don't worry, you say. I know it seems a little silly to go against each tile of hallway, but I'd rather be certain. Uh, sure, let's go this way. The shorter path is the best path. Same thing as before. Maybe that key. Oh, maybe. I don't want to do that, just on the off chance of something horrible. What are you doing? When I was in Shinozaki, There's something all over every one of these shelves. It's like someone emptied out buckets full of small black beans? On closer inspection, they seem to be dead flies, hundreds upon hundreds of them. Are you certain you're on the right path? Is it really okay to trust her? It's the partial decomposed corpse of a student. Judging by size and uniform, this was likely a male middle school student. The back of his head seems to be completely smashed in, suggesting he was probably killed from behind with a blunt weapon. A student ID name tag can be seen partially lodged under one of his bony arms. Takine Municipal Min Middle School, Teru Arai. Got it. Can't 
going. Once again, cannot go in. What? Wait. The trap door seems to have completely vanished without a trace. It's as if it never even existed. You never know, things change. I want to check all our options before I just open that door. なんかに光が反射してるな。拾えないかな。いや、無理だろう。この真下に地下倉庫でもあるのか、結構深い穴みたいだし。何かはしごかロープでもあるといいんだが。Stairs blocked off magically. No, they aren't. That looks pleasant, right? This was most likely a female junior or senior high student. Though anything beyond that was impossible to determine as everything above the waist was missing. Whoever killed this girl must have done it recently as the wound was still fresh and the blood all over the floor was still wet. Her exposed intestines seemed to have been pulled out of her body and draped onto the floor, where they were then crushed flat like a worm under a big shoe. Nana was wrought with grief. She was shaking uncontrollably to such an extent that her teeth were chattering. We gently let her out of the classroom. I wanted to get out of there myself, to be honest. Seeing a human body so horribly mutilated was more than I could handle. Partially hidden under the body is a student ID name tag, which must have fallen from the missing torso. Musashigawa Girls Middle School, Hadoka Manome. Probably best to make sure Nana never sees this.
frozen. All right, so we can't go in. This one's fine. It's an old yellowed class newsletter. We copied it. Okay. This is the same note. Okay. There's nothing else here, so we'll move on. Hole, this port has been port to bridge. Let's go this way. Has this been blocked off? Nope. Um, that doesn't seem very safe. あの子が私を受け入れてくれる。あの子の体が欲しい。欲しい。俺たちからあれを取り上げるな。お前たちはまだ自分の体があるじゃないか。Right, we'll just be on our way. Alright, what's in this room? Absolutely nothing in this room. Fantastic. There's another board. Covered with the sheet earlier. Here seems good. We'll just keep exploring. Okay, no evil spirits over here. All right. Just gotta be thorough. You never know what could be triggering. You never know what could trigger a... Uh, Development. It's completely boarded up. It won't be possible to get inside. It's the remains of a student, completely decomposed into a skeleton. Based on its size and the uniform it's wearing, it was probably once a senior high school girl. There are deep scratches on the ground nearby, with several fingernail fingernails and even a few teeth adorning them, indicating the ferocity of her struggle. There's also a student ID name tag. 
Matsukaze Prefectural High School, Rena Se Seiki. Maybe I see that. Sorry, just like, why is my screen getting redder? Anything to be explored? Goros, 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 Goros. There's a small amount of standing water in sink, indicating a clogged drain. It's littered with dead flies. There's some sort of thick, buttery buildup in the drain. It smells rancid. Alright. So we'll just leave. Is the lab accessible now or not? Nope. Anything on the floor, just making sure. Just checking. So much goop on the screen. I assume from the darkening. That's making it difficult. I'm like looking in the holes like, is that something I can deal with or not? The only other thing I could think of is uh, maybe the gauze we could use that. But I don't know. I don't think that would be a good idea. Let's go ahead and do a quick save. And then we'll go into the door here. Or maybe I'll save that for next time. <laughs> So until then, thank you all very much for watching, and the ciao for now, ciao for now. <laughs>